called Soul Gifts and Training, it's time to step up. You came to earth with a double mission, to grow as a soul and to bring about a shift in consciousness. The best way to fulfill these personal and collective purposes is to trust what it is that your soul is calling you toward, for it's encoded with the most direct path forward. Your soul has many unique gifts that it came here to share. Some you may already be aware of, others you're just beginning to uncover. You're being called to remember that your soul intelligently chose the perfect conditions to carry out your soul's mission and share your soul's gifts. If you're being called toward a creative project, a passion, or an adventure, this card is your confirmation that you're facing the right way and that this is the moment right here that is destined. If you're feeling underprepared or thinking, who am I to do that? This card is guiding you to step up and leap and consider perhaps that your soul has been training for this moment right here for lifetimes. Starseed Activation Place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all of my lifetimes. I'm ready to embody them all now without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now and I'm ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. There's a mysterious force that governs all of life, an intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom and the tides and seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you too. It was there before you drew your first breath and it will be there well beyond your last. It's the part of you that informed every cell what to do when you were in your mother's womb. It's harder to resist this force than it is to surrender to it. Because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will, it's easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the pattern of believing that we're separate or feeling that we need to go it alone. We can feel isolated and as if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. You're being called to remember the intelligence that's within each and every one of your cells, to remember that you're a precious child of the loving, gentle universe, that you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow, and qualities there ever were, are, or will be, and to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, then you do too. Starseed Soul Inquiry How can you surrender more deeply to the intelligent flow of life? The Cosmic Heart Devotion, Potency Make Your Life a Moving Prayer when you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You are being called to refocus your attention deep within, to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple and live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off kilter lately, Sensing that the potency of why you're doing the things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart. To get back to the essence of what you're about to devote your life to what you care most about and turn your gaze deep, 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 deep. 
There are reasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now, you're being called to plant your soul seeds and sing to them with deep devotion, to feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what is the most, to what it is that most expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you come alive rather than what everyone else thinks, to make your life one big moving prayer. Starseed Soul Inquiry How can you make your life a moving prayer? The Courageous Peony Multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the cherry blossom, and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. They own what they are and trust the timing of their true nature. You're being called to do the same. It's time to open yourself up and be seen. Time to share your incredible, multifaceted, true nature with the world around you. To uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering. To own your uniqueness without apology. There's a flower on this planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is readying itself to express. Let it inform you. You may have been taught that it's safer to keep your light hidden and your voice small, to hide behind the bushes instead of growing tall. The courageous peony is here to remind you that it's safe to embody all of who you truly are. It's safe to share your voice and let yourself be seen. At first, it may feel uncomfortable, and you may be afraid of what others think. But with each passing day, it does become easier. Little by little, you realize that it draws in those who are meant for you and experiences you've been longing for arrive at your feet. Starseed Soul Inquiry How are you being called to allow yourself to be more visible and seen in the world? Cracked Open Rock Bottom Surrender to the Alchemy of Life don't let the weight and density of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call even more of it home, into your body, at the center front of your life. It's through the extreme pressure of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is ignited. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, sorrow, and losses make you, not break you. Let life alchemize your tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It's the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds and in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. Sometimes it hurts like hell. It's nature's way. Whether you let it happen or not, it's going to happen. So surrender to the process. It's how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. When your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibility that your tragedies, your losses, your sorrows, and your hurt happen for you, not to you. Bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Starseed Soul Inquiry 
How can you let life crack you open?